hello friends welcome to the lab techs my name is nasser and uh, today we have a motherboard and uh, i really don't know that what model is this it's a very big type motherboard and uh, i think uh, this is neither i can see pch nor cpu so maybe first or second generation it is and uh, what is the part number d a k l 3 a m hardly i have seen this board ever in in my life so let's find out what is this and uh, what is the problem so first of all let's talk about the problem so it is the uh, kl3 kl3 motherboard we will find out which model is that and uh, what is the scenario so let's figure out no ampere nothing and uh, when I turn on, let's see what happened. Yes, something is happening. Light blinks on the both side. Here also you can see both side. So tell me that uh, what type of problem there could be. N I cannot check anything if uh, we find uh, such problem when we turn on and turn off okay within a second it's turn off so i really don't know uh, th that what model is that that but i know what is the problem when you find very quickly motherboard is turning on and off there is the shorting in any point and most probably there is the problem of run area like vs area as we have discussed in our classes so first of all let's figure out any high drive area i am going to check whether the dc in voltage is available on the motherboard or not definitely it is because we are getting on a switch voltage and it is turning on but let's figure out so anywhere you can check anywhere you can check and you should get this DC in voltage and it is absolutely all right and I think that these two coil these two coils let me put off so these two coils I think it is 3.3 and 5 volt so I really don't know what model is it but location tells many things which you have to observe so here we are getting 4.996 around 5 volt this is 5 volt regulator and here I must get 3 volt so here is the 3 volt so if your primary area is short then your motherboard can never turn on primary area are 19 volt or DC in area 3.3 and 5 volt S5 area these are the primary area okay which is generated by LDO that is also primary area like your on off switch your SM bus area your SIO VCC area your uh, RTC area these area are the primary area where as soon as you inject the DC jack into the motherboard you start getting voltage without any effort without turning on without anything so if any of these area are short like 19 volt short 3.3 and 5 volt S5 area is short or any LDO is short you cannot see your motherboard is turning on and off your motherboard will never turn on if it is turning on and off usually that could cause your sound IC could short your LAN IC could short your HDMI IC could short your external CRT area could be short uh, CRT IC could be short any ICs like uh, your card reader IC could be short or your S0 area is having any problem so these are the scenario of the motherboard now let's figure out what is this this model so I need to search on the Google what is that D A K L 3 A M B 8 E 0 B schematic okay so S manual is taking KL3 S manual but what is Y Lenovo Y5 560 Lenovo Y560 Y500 I have seen 
560i uh, first time I am going to experience. So I will also share my experience with you. What is the problem in, in this uh, area? So S manual, the free of cost, it is giving you the schematic. So let's find out that uh, what is causing to stop turning on this motherboard. So I have downloaded it now save it so here is the schematic now open this schematic and uh, this is the block diagram and uh, where I have to search C win area is okay RTC area is okay and this is the LDO probably and 15 volt will be okay here is the S5 and S3 which I have checked okay so my these area must be absolutely all right so where is the 5 volt S5 and th 3 volt S5 sus area uh, 5 volt sus and 3.3 .3 volt sus area and 1.5 volt sus area and these are the area there could be problem because if you are getting turn on your laptop here extra point you are getting sus area and also your 3 volt and 5 volt this is the S0 this is not S0 this is you can call out S4 area sorry S3 area or after S sus you can call after wake up the when your uh, sus well is getting voltage if your sus well is getting voltage and uh, then your uh, slp sus will come out and your 5 volt sus and 3 volt sus will be wake up so these area uh, you will start getting voltage after turning on so what is the location of this area 5 volt s5 so sorry this one 5 volt sus copy this area and paste Uh, I am looking for the area where it is getting generated pull up pull up yes this one 3 volt and 5 volt sus area so sus on will come out when we will turn on sus on will come out and uh, sus on will be 3 volt it, why it, it will be coming from SIO and then the ground will go up and ground will stop these all area this area also this area the here the ground will reach this will be off this will be off and then what will be happening the 15 volt will go to initialize this MOSFET and this will turn on and this 3 volt become the 3 volt sus and also the, this 15 volt will reach here sorry and of this 15 volt will come also here and this 5 volt PCU will become 3 volt uh, sorry 5 volt sus so this is the scenario here so I have to locate this area PQ 53 is that all right PQ 53 and PQ 41 so let's figure out PQ what was that PQ 53 any of one if I could find I don't have board view of this model as you know that we have taken PQ54, PQ52 and this might be PQ53 yes this is PQ53 okay this one is PQ53 as it is written here PQ53 so what I will expect here as I will turn on I have to see this area when I will turn on I must get first 15 volt on the gate so gate is always on the 4 number pin 1 2 3 and 4 this is the 4 number pin so here I must get so let me increase it 53 so this is the 3 volt so 3 volt uh, will be available on these area now you can see here 3.3 .3 volt is available on the gate right now there is no voltage as I will turn on it will be available but very quickly it is going back it is turning on and off so I cannot figure out with the multimeter okay so I must check with I must check it with the DSO whether any voltage is generated or not so here multimeter cannot help us 
so what I will do here I will set my DSO on the capture mode and then I will check the gate okay now it will not give me anything but I want to see that whether anything is generated because the 15 volt will come only when it is turned on so I will turn on this one now you can see that the voltage is generated 2 volt per division I have set on this uh, DSO and now it is rising like this way okay and it is rising it means it is generated and uh, see the consequence what do we get uh, 3 volt on the other area so let's check so now this was the area I have to check the fourth number uh, fourth number was gate I checked uh, 3 volt is generated yes of course it is generated now this one the gate one now I am checking I mm, by mistake I checked the output area only so here I am going to check gate voltage ok the four number pin let's find out what is the four number pin so on the diagram four number pin is your three volt now you can see that the three volt is coming out two volt per division three volt is and three number pin is the gate three number pin is the gate uh, I think I was confused to check this one now you can find out the same thing with the multimeter 15 volt you are not going to get anything now I'm checking this one with the multimeter okay the same three number pin I'm going to check with the multimeter let's find out do you get anything 1.1 something you get and drop out 0 0.80 uh, 80 100 milli m milli voltage you get and it's turned off around 1.6 volt and drop out. so DSO will help you to capture the things and uh, it will confirm you it is generated okay so these area are okay I think so because 15 volt is okay and uh, no other area what is that Th that is why the physical is important now let me set you on the uh, this might be 19 volt so 19 volt is available so why this area is showing like this it is open good wow now see what happened it is really open no shorting so what area is faulty 0 0.6 uh, let me find out which area because both cannot show shorting so power is there yes this area is having 20 ohm so that is a good one and this is also open so let's remove this one however there is no problem at all in this area 19 volt is not short in your board and this is the 19 volt area okay so this is open very badly blown up I don't know why but this is op op open like this Most usually we find this types of problem and uh, we find short circuit on the particular area H6 is equal to now let me find out the same condition or what any changes let me power to the board let me turn on 
same condition okay turn on and off turn on and off why there might be something problem let's figure out what is that so I need to open the board it's in and all what is the bad thing about this motherboard that uh, it has the graphic also first generation this is the first generation and uh, few thing I need to confirm that uh, USB area bias is also done by someone this IC was on the my table S51 this is the bad one so USB area good no problem at all second USB good anything I I hope that anything is having problem the like any controller I see is having problem sound capacitor is beeping on this area what could be how can I find that what is this usually I, f I have seen that sound area get shorted and uh, it is okay but despite let me figure out what is that area so it is going to the it is going to the this U see this one is beeping this one is beeping okay and this is going to this area okay and uh, this IC has two ground so I have to confirm whether it requires two ground or not so U39 might be U39 and then 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 R C then R then C so this is the U39 here I can see U39 here U39 and uh, here is the R R394 and then R398 this is the marking of the R and this is the C517 this is the C517 and this is the R407 this is the R47 and this is the capacitor which is written here C520 okay so like this way you can find out U39 let's find out u39 so u39 mute volume what is the number of pin one two three three number pin is grounded good and four five number is also grounded is that so five number but 5 number is the 3 volt 3 V got this point what I have found here that this particular IC has really this capacitor is ok because uh, both side it is grounded because of uh, as the schematic is saying the schematic is saying that uh, 3 number is ground so it is coming from uh, across the this capacitor and it is going to the three number pin of this uh, U U39 one this is the marking one two three it is it must be grounded but four and five five number is also beeping that is not good okay so five number is your three V so let's figure out where is your three V generated so as we have discussed this is the S0 voltage and what I told you initially even I don't know where is the V V uh, 3 V or 3 volt S0 is generated so let's figure out copy and paste many area you will find it is going so since
since quickly it is turning on and off and I said you my through my experience that uh, there could be a zero area or any run area could be short and we have to figure out which is causing to turn off immediately so let's figure out where it is located so many area good the same way you will get as uh, 3 volt and 5 volt sus was generated 3V now here you will find PCU and uh, no here okay let's here this is the point where 3V is generated PQ 52 and where 5V is generated this is the PQ 42 so find PQ 42 but I don't have to find PQ 42 because I am not going to be sure that this area is having any shorting I have to confirm source of PQ 52 whether it is short or not PQ so it, it is really hard task it is really hard not to crack to find out without board view where is the location of the IC so PQ 52 here the same area where the sus was located now let me show you it's too big to control but how to show you now let me show you the number you have seen pq 52 and the source should not be grounded grounded so your sus area is good okay as we have tested three number is the gate and the four number is having voltage uh, you have seen I have sh uh, shown you sus is all right but any the sus is what you can call it that is the s4 or s3 voltage and uh, V is the your uh, run voltage or you can call it the s0 voltage so among them there could be shorting or also that area which there we have found that capacitor was shorted that is the 1 volt or 1.05 volt uh, for the PCH that area also could cause the, the same problem but it will delay some time because your run is started then your 1.0 volt will be generated and 1 volt and 1.05 1 volt is always generated in the S0 state so it will hold some time it will give some time uh, you will check on the LED it will glow and then off within 2 seconds or 3 seconds it will give you time but here in the run area or in the S0 area if there is a problem then it will on and sudden off so this is the clue I have given you now I have to find out bit which area this side is the this side is the PCU area or which which we can say that the coil voltage is on this side and this side we have if I want to turn on this board so if I cut this area if I remove this area the board I think will turn on but maybe that there would not be display but I would show you that uh, this area is having problem and uh, because of this area the board is what is on the oh the paste the BGA paste put some paste on it I have disseminated I have uh, cut off the area of the problem however there would not be any display but I let me show you that whether it is constant or not now let me show you the light I am going to turn on now you see what is the difference it is turned on okay it is taking some load and then it is turning off it is taking some time okay so what does it means that that voltage is also required to generate some voltages like 
a zero voltage which I have cut off that requires uh, that is the requirement of some others I see like core voltage and uh, PCH voltage will be generated then this particular 3 volt or a zero voltage is all right so I have to remove shorting from the board so I need to inject some voltage on this area so that I can figure out which, which is getting caused of this shorting so let's wait because I don't I cannot use this power supply it will take too much time sorry guys I could not show you the process uh, of the shorting but uh, let me tell you what I have done I have injected the removed uh, MOSFET on the source I put one volt on this area and I started uh, getting heat this sound I see so I'm now you can see that uh, what is the what is the value of the source it is around 1 ohm 2 ohm 1 ohm or 2 ohm okay so now you can uh, say that just inject 1 or 1.5 volt and the thing which start getting heat up that is the faulty so this sound I see start getting uh, getting heat up too much so I'm going to remove this IC okay so let me show you and I will not wear gloves this time because I don't have time I have around uh, 10 to 12 motherboard to repair and it is around 2 o'clock around 3 o'clock and out of uh, 12 4 I have repaired now let me switch so out of 12 4 I could repair only in 2 hours because it takes too much time to uh, capture the video because uh, if I only have to repair so it will not take too much time so but you guys love us too much so that is why we are com we are compelled to make this informative video for you whatever I know uh, it is not uh, possible to us to uh, give all the information on the YouTube because uh, it is a very long and vast course but as much as possible we will try to help you out so the sound I see is faulty and now I will figure out the value what value we are getting I will not use the sound I see but of course I will find out what is the value I know that this particular uh, MOSFET is all right very healthy MOSFET has no problem I have just removed it because I just don't want to go uh, reverse mod on the 3.3 and 5 volt and it burns that is why because I had to inject the voltage now see it is still coming mm. once again I have to do the same process so guys the problem is on the very area but uh, slightly this uh, sound IC was getting heat but the rather the same area which is getting heat up which we have found that the four, 3 number and 5 number this is also getting heat but uh, I am also not sure that these area all area are heating up too much by injecting voltage so I will confirm this sound IC also whether it is sh uh, short or not I will put it back now let's check here I have removed the same IC from where we started diagnosing so now let's check 3 number pin is the ground and 5 number still it is having beep ok and uh, where the 5 number pin is going still beep 5 ohm now it is increased 0 0.5 let's see what is on the back side nothing it's all right everything so again I will put the voltage because everything was getting heat up I will remove entire sound IC sound area let's wait so 
I'm not very much sure that this is the same diagram because uh, this particular capacitor which we are thinking that the ground this is heating up too much the, the most heating up component is the award goes to this capacitor okay I have removed this one but I don't know why this was heating up this is also grounded now 5 ha 500 ohm on the this particular area here it was grounded okay this side was ground but this side it is not grounded so everything is all right I think so so let's put back all the things and uh, find out do we have really problem in these ICs otherwise sound will not be generated there will not be sound and the customer will repeat the problem to us so let's fix this area all right now first of all confirm 500 good now sound, sound IC hmm so this is the location of one number pin so let's put it back all right so sound IC really it was badly hitting up that is why I removed these area but uh, if you have thermal image view so really it will help you that which is rather heating up the degree Celsius would be retained but it is too much costly and unnecessary I prefer to find out this type uh, this way instead of wasting money on the thermal image viewer okay it's a matter of choice I rather preferred to buy MSO instead of thermal image viewer so I have uh, 5000 series Rigel and uh, which is which has 200 memory depth 8 giga sample per second and uh, 200 megahertz and uh, it's very much costly 5204 Rigel 5204 so this was the model I have bought now let's find out that uh, what is the value now you are getting on the area where you we were checking okay because the shorting is removed and uh, where the IC is gone here this area first we removed and this area was having short circuit or ground whatever you can call it now let's put back this MOSFET all right so everything is on its place except capacitor even that is required because the sound IC has the LDO voltage also so LDO is also required now I will show you the condition of uh, on-off switch ah. hmm. it was too much hot and I should not power now let's wait to be cool calm down now let's inject the power hmm. here you will see the on off switch here is the light okay now I'm turning on so now you can see that the light is constantly glowing because it is turning off that tiny capacitor where I kept I really don't know so you have seen that uh, the problem could be from any of the any of the area like it could be your uh, VS area it could be your suspend area there is the shorting that that is the my experience okay it's turned on and it's constant constantly it is 
on and it's not turning off because now 3 3v that means 3v s0 is generated okay so i think the display should have come now because uh, it is taking too much load because it has the graphic also you can see the graphic is there so let's put it back uh, i won't i won't uh, you know take too much your time quickly i will find out the display is available or not so i cannot show you anywhere but through your experience you can say when the dram reset is uh, taken place on the motherboard so you will get some experience uh, the variation of ampere will take place however the bios is also done i have never done okay the guy who has sent it to me he has done the bios but really don't care about that if there is the problem then we will do it later but the solution i was just showing you if laptop is turning on and off so it is never a big deal if you know the logic now let me inject the power and uh, you will see the ampere only it goes up and down up and down up and down okay now the second thing i have to confirm the display if this blinks okay let me put off the light then you can observe okay now you will see if the light blinks then you can say that yes the di display has come now you will see okay the light is available it will blink it's not blinking let's figure out ram slot change fan is not moving because i have not that is why i don't like the guys who uh, start doing the bias okay and it happens now constantly i will see yes blink 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 gpu could be faulty or bios could could be faulty but well i will get it display whether i have to uh, make it non graphic or whatever but i will repair this motherboard but hopefully that uh, the problem of turning on, on uh, turning on and off many guys who has commented on the youtube uh, area blog that uh, make this types of video which is turning on and off and that is why i am making uh, this type of video so that you can easily repair this types of problem at last uh, one thing i would like to offer you the month of august is the independent day of uh, in india and that is the 15 august when we got independent so in the eve of this occasion we every year launch a offer for our uh, students they can avail this video in the cheaper price so if you are interested and every year we increase the videos because the case study very very interesting case study and the new thing which ever whatever comes and we try to include these things in the videos and uh, like uh, the ram onboard ram disable method and uh, in the asus and in the lenovo in the acer many versions many uh, types of motherboard what is the concept we will always hanker after the concept nothing the that you just copy and paste that i will give you the document and you will copy and paste not like that we will tell you the concept how you have to do it and uh, uh, like uh, 10 generation csme and also we have launched a package in english or and as well as in hindi that uh, 
entire the bio section we have compiled and we are just uh, uh, offering to our students now this is you can say that the biggest offer till now because uh, we are going to provide you 300 videos and that uh, is uh, 350 hours total uh, videos and uh, that will be in the very less price so if you are interested in the in this 15 august offer and it will be valid for only one month remember one thing it will be valid only for one month 15 august to 15 september okay so got this point if you have any query if you want to know so don't call us okay because we uh, take classes offline online and repairing like see how many boards I do have still to do there are the lots of board I have to do okay so I cannot pick up your call sorry sorry guys sorry for that so if you have any queries so you just text us on the whatsapp on the given number and we will respond to you as soon as possible and uh, hopefully that uh, you will get a different type of confidence after learning this course so keep on loving us like this and keep on commenting us to motivate us and uh, if you could do nothing you just share our video so that other will help you and also pray for you if they get advantage so let's see you in the next video thank you guys thank you for watching this video